If you want to run faster or jump higher as an athlete, you have to have a super strong posterior chain, or again, more specifically, your glutes. So a lot of times we have athletes come in and they have a weak posterior chain, so a lot of times we prescribe uh, a lot of squats and things that focus on the whole posterior chain. So again, not just glutes, uh, but hamstrings, everything down the backside, because again, that's, like your, that's your powerhouse. So same thing too, or if you're just a girl who wants to develop, uh, you know, get nice, straight, uh, strong and tight glutes, uh, the squat variation that we're about to cover is great for that. So again, it's, it's, it's a box squat, so we're going to sit all the way down to the box. Uh, we'll go over a couple things real quick after I do one or two reps. So again, just getting under the bar like normal. So something we really want to focus on, we try to keep our shins vertical as we're sitting back. So I'll do one to two reps, but again, I'm really going to sit back into my hips. That's going to really feel myself loading my glutes. I'm actually going to sit down and then drive hard out of the bottom. So again, sitting back, sitting back, trying to keep my shins vertical. Sit for a second and drive through. Woo. All right, so main focus is again, when we're trying to sit back and keep our shins vertical, you're going to feel a huge uh, shift and stretch into your glutes, into your hamstrings, and then that's basically loading those muscles, loading that tissue, so that's where all the stress is going into your glutes, into your hamstrings, okay? So, that's part number one. Part number two for you, since we're sitting so high or so low in the box, again, squat as low as your you know, anatomy permits, don't go low where we get some butt weight going on, but anyways, we wanna to try to get that sweet like 90 degree angle through your hips, again, when you go all the way down for your squat. Reason being, you get more glute and hamstring activation um, out of that bottom. So as soon as you push, you're going to feel a really push through the heels and like the arches of your feet. And without a doubt, you're going to feel those hamstrings and those glutes fire, okay? Third thing is, you can't really see it from this angle, is the stance. So stance is going to be a little bit wider, so it's going to shorten our range of motion for a squat. And toes slightly flared out. And again, what that's going to do is, that's kind of like a, a function of your glute. So it does hip extension, extension going behind you but also external rotation. So since we're turning our toes out slash externally rotating, you're going to just recruit more glute muscle. So again, you're trying to spread that floor. So again, this is great for athletes who want to run faster, um, again, jump higher, or again, if you're just a lady and you want to a sweet way to develop your backside, give this a go in your program. Make sure when you touch the box though, you never want to relax and lose your, lose your posture or lose your tension throughout your core. So, Make sure we're still maintaining tightness in our neutral spine, but again, exploding up and hard out of the bottom. So again, that's just one quick tip. Uh, I feel like it would be useful for you guys. So again, comment below. Let me know if you enjoyed it. And then also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook page, so that way you get awesome stuff coming your way.